Over the last couple of months, we've experienced the nightmares of others, what haunts them, facing them, and overcoming the task at hand. At the beginning, we took part in a ritual, so does that mean our guardian has a nightmare too? And if so, what is it? Let's discuss. So far, we've helped our close friends overcome their nightmares, turning them against Kallus, so we believe, to combat the Leviathan's connection to the Lunar Pyramid and darkness. Aldrin saw for Crow, Sophia and Hakim for Zavala and his family, and Keidel and Dominus Gaul. This leaves a big question though, will our Guardian have a nightmare or is this story just focused on these main characters? We will likely have Kaido's conclusion next week as we've seen the introduction here on Reset, so either it ends with that or perhaps there could be more for a conclusion. She was feared as a star pilot, dreaded with a cleaver, a warrior. Where is she? She died, smoldering in the ashes of Torbottle. Your lessons with her. In that opening cutscene, we see Keitel did not want to take part in Eris' ritual with the Hive Magic, and we see where that has led. Instead, in that cutscene, we see Eris, Zavala, Crow, and our Guardian filling in where Keitel should be. Now, to me, it seems as if our Guardian is just there for support and not actually taking part as we don't present anything like the other two, but it's kind of hard to tell. The whole point of games with silent protagonists is for the story to be tailored to you, that you make your own legend, this is your story. So maybe Bungie is going the route of you, the player, specifically having nightmares from the past and not your in-game guardian. It's that, or the guardian doesn't have any nightmares at all, as we've battled through them and dealt with some of them like in Shadowkeep. We are bound. In this cutscene though, we see four bowls sort of light up with the green fire. So, not sure are two of these for Eris and the other two for Zavala and Crow? Or is one of these ours and does that mean anything at all? So, the short answer currently is our Guardian doesn't have a nightmare in this season unless that changes in the coming weeks. This is what we know as of now. So, knowing that, who could our nightmare be? Let's take a look back at Shadowkeep. In Shadowkeep, we were first introduced to the nightmare shadows emanating from the pyramid ship. Looking to the future always brings us back to the past. Can you feel them? I can still hear their voices. Their endless torment reshapes our moon. Nightmares now stalk the surface. Walking shadows, seeking vengeance. Our old fears, they rise again. Eris's fire team would haunt her. Those guardians were her nightmares. For our Guardian, in the main campaign, we came across three in particular once we entered the pyramid, Crota, Gaul, and Fikrul. Nightmares plague our galaxy. Your past confronts you, Guardian. Put an end to it. First up, Crota. Crota wasn't too special if you ask me. We went to the moon and he was one of the biggest bosses we faced once we became a guardian, but he seemed pretty easy to deal with and bigger, badder foes would soon arrive like his father. Gaul. Now Gaul was kind of a big deal. This space rhino specifically pushed us off of that command ship. We lost our light, the city, and had to battle back. So some of Gaul may be burned into our guardian's memory of those bad times, but we defeated him. So does that revenge seal it up and make it a done deal? We're not afraid of him anymore? It seems that may have moved on to Keitel though. And then there's Fikrul. This might also hit a little close to home when it comes to Cade 6. 
Fickrel was right there with Aldrin Sov commanding those scorn barons in the Tangled Shore and helped kill our friend, the one who died in our arms. These memories could haunt us of not being able to save Cade or of the fanatic, but then again we did avenge Cade, so maybe that loop is closed, who knows. Also in Shadowkeep, you had some of the nightmare hunts with enemies like Fogoth, Omnigol, and so on. These are enemies some of us have fought in the past, so our guardian may consider them nightmares to ourself, but the point of Shadowkeep overall seemed to focus on the guardian collective's nightmares. That means all of the guardians, not just one. For example, Gaul ruined tons of guardian lives in the city and ended many. And your light is mine. So maybe at this point in the story, we don't specifically have a nightmare. We've killed so many gods and suffered so much, it's kind of like we're immune. I mean, if I was a part of the Cabal or the Fallen, the Guardian, our character would definitely be my nightmare. Thanks to the Trespasser Lord and also this video, we know Cade is Ikora's nightmare. And since Cade's death, we haven't really experienced defeat on a scale like that. I mean, Osiris lost Sagira, Sagira was kind of close to us, but not much we could really do there. I ever lost. I refuse to bury any more friends. You won't have to. Aldrin Sov is mine. As a character, we lost the city, got it back. Cade died, we avenged him. Nightmares rise, we slay them. Darkness tempts us, and we wield it proud and neutral. Our nightmares have been dealt with. But for now, these major characters are experiencing this for themselves. Our Guardian and Eris fought back on the moon in Shadowkeep, but Ikora and Zavala didn't, for example. So here's a fun question. You as a player Guardian, who or what is your nightmare? Not in the lore or the story of the game, but just from playing it. Was it seeing the death of Cade? Does that haunt you? Was it Trevor in the bowels of the tower? Leave your nightmare comments below. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. Nightmares are a cool aspect when it comes to Destiny's story, being able to dive back into some of these character lore that we've never experienced before, like seeing Zavala have a son and a wife. Our Guardian has dealt with many nightmares, like back in Shadowkeep, and although we defeated them, it seems there wasn't just one that stood out above the rest. At least that's the way I see it. If you'd like to see some other Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.